Hey Pyro, we are burning a really cute little leather wallet today. I'm super excited about this project. It is so, so much fun. It's super simple and it is delicious to burn. I absolutely love burning leather. Now this is a part of the Crate Club subscription. If you are not a part of that, then you will have to go get the materials yourself. If you are a part of it, then you will have all the materials that you need to make this beauty. These ship out after the fifth of the month, so you have until the fourth to get in on this project. That will be at crateclub.burnsavvy.com. Go sign up before these are entirely sold out and we have been selling out almost every single month. And so the adventure begins. Let us begin. I'm Jenny Lizenby, your pyro professor here at Burn Savvy. Let's burn. These are the things that you will need for this project. Of course, you will need your leather wallet that is vegetable tanned. You'll need your pattern and carbon paper, and you'll need a tracing tool and scissors. If you have the wood burning tools and accessories kit, then you will have those. And you will need some tape, some uh, oil and wax leather conditioner, and you will need an applicator rag for the sealant. First things first, we're gonna cut out the pattern. Now one quick important note, I am leaving plenty on top so that I can tape it to the leather without it taping to the front. Usually it's okay, but sometimes tape can leave a residue, especially if you use more sticky tapes. So using painter's tape or something like that will definitely help. And I just about taped this on upside down. <laughs> Make sure it is right side up before you tape it down. Then place your carbon paper shiny side down in between the leather and your pattern and then trace the pattern every now and again lift it up to see that it's transferring the way you want my pattern kept wanting to move so i had to add a little extra tape across the top but again you only want to tape down one side so that it's really easy for you to lift up the pattern and check your progress When you're happy with that, you can remove this pattern and do the same thing with the pattern on this side. If you have a solid point machine like one of these, for the sharp lines, I would recommend a chisel tip like one of these. And for the curved lines, like the lettering, I would use something like one of these, a flow point or a cone point. If you have a professional wire nib, I would recommend one of these knife points for the lines and a ball point for the lettering. Remember to test out whatever nib you're planning to use on your scrap piece of leather. I'm going to start with the ball point. And this ball point is the medium sized ball point. You can use any of them, but I find with some of these smaller areas, the medium or small is best. Turning it about to a medium heat. And I'm gonna let that start cooking a little. There we go. And then you simply trace over the lines with the ball point. I like to use my bean bag. It helps me to prop my hand up to the level of my burn. If you are enjoying this project, it would be awesome if you'd hit that little like button and then let me know in the comments what it is that you like most. I love to hear from my fellow pyros and I love to hear what is actually helping my fellow pyros. I appreciate it. Thank you. With that side burned, 
we're going to turn it over and I'm going to use the ballpoint to fill in the letter N and to do the circle and then I'm going to use the sharp knife point or if you have the chisel tip or anything like that you want to use that straight edge to do these straight lines. Now when you're switching out the tips, remember to turn off your machine. If you have a solid point burner, it recommends that you wait until the tip is cooled off before you switch it. That can take a while, and I know some of us don't have that kind of patience. If that's you, make sure that you are using pliers and be very, very careful. Have a little dish off to the side for you to hold those hot nibs, okay? If you need to use gloves, use gloves. Just be very, very careful. I'm gonna test the heat again. That's a little thin, so I'll come around to the other side and thicken that up here in just a minute. Don't be afraid to twist the piece. Turn it so that you are working at an angle that you are comfortable with. And if you're concerned about going over the lines there, start on one side, get close, and then finish by pulling from the other side. Now, if you feel like adding extra to it, you can certainly fill in the sides or add extra dots around the circles or anything like that. Have fun with it. Once it's all burned, it's time to add a finish. Simply take your applicator rag and get a little bit of finish on it and rub that into the leather. Wait for two hours to let it dry and then buff off any excess. And there you have your adventurous new wallet. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, you will love being part of the Pyro family on the Burn Savvy channel membership here on YouTube. It's a new membership and I'm adding new pyrography tutorials every month. So if that's a good fit for you, come join me. I will also put a link in the description to make it really easy for you to find. Now, if you want to burn more leather, you might want to watch this little project in case you haven't seen it yet. And I'm going to be posting another video coming up all about doing pyrography on leather. Full of tips and tricks. You're not going to want to miss that. And I'll see you on the next project. Later, Pyro.